Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're unveiling the second version of our Pomodoro bot. And this time, it's smarter, sleeker and fully voice enabled. Now the bot doesn't just track your focus sessions, it can talk back and respond to your queries in real time. Thanks to LLM integration with VM, it's completely hands-free. No buttons needed. We've also given it a brand new look with adorable ears, and even designed a custom PCB to make everything more compact and efficient. Before we get into the exciting upgrades, let's take a quick trip down our memory lane. Our first version had a simple display for tracking focus sessions and physical buttons for manual control. It worked great, but we knew we could do even better. If you missed that video you can check it out right here. One of the biggest upgrades in this version is the audio system, which allows the bot to interact with you naturally. For both audio input and output, we searched for compact solutions and eventually landed on these components. A tiny adjustment to the 3D model was all it took to accommodate them seamlessly. For audio input, we chose a small USB microphone, which fit perfectly with just a minor tweak to the design. For audio output, we went with a compact 4-ohm, 2.5 watt speaker, paired with the PAM 8403 amplifier module for clear sound. Now, here's where things got interesting. Since the Raspberry Pi 5 doesn't have a built-in audio output, we had to get a little creative. Instead of using an external sound card, we routed the audio signal through the display's 3.5mm jack into the PAM 8403 amplifier, which then powers the speaker. During testing, we kept the Raspberry Pi and PAM 8403 amplifier on separate power supplies to avoid noise issues. We also used a USB breakout board to power the amplifier conveniently. To make sure everything worked as expected, we ran a few simple tests using a record to record audio and aptly to play it back. And just like that, our little bot had a voice. Now that our audio setup is ready, it's time to integrate VM and LLM to power the bot's voice interactions. This allows the bot to process speech, understand queries, and respond in real time. Those who don't know about VM, it's a powerful robotics platform that makes it easy to build, control, and manage robots remotely and efficiently. VM consists of two key elements, server app and the cloud app. First, the server app runs locally on your single board computer SBC acting as the core of your system to facilitate communication between the hardware of your smart machine and its controlling software. The cloud app, in contrast, serves as a remote control center for configuring your machine, monitoring performance in real time, and collecting valuable data. VM centers on two key concepts, components and services. Components represent the physical hardware in your system, such as cameras or servo motors, paired with software to ensure smooth operation. Services are built-in software packages that provide advanced capabilities, like motion planning for navigation and obstacle avoidance, without requiring complex coding. VM's local LLM module allows you to integrate a local large language model without relying on the cloud. It runs models like Tiny Llama using Llama.cpp, giving your bot the ability to process AI tasks completely offline. To add an LLM to our bot, Navigate to the Configure tab in VM's interface. In the Services section, search for Local LLM and add it to the bot. If you want to use a different model instead of the default, you'll need two things, the LLM repo and the LLM file. For this example, we'll use DeepSeek R1. First, let's search for its GGUF file on Hugging Face. Once we find it, download the GGUF file onto your Raspberry Pi. This will serve as the LLM file. The repo ID from Hugging Face will be the LLM repo. Now head back to the Configure tab in VM, enter both the LLM file and LLM repo, and save the settings. That's it. Your bot is now set up to run a local LLM. To integrate a wake word detector into our Pomodoro bot, we're using Pico Voice Porcupine Wake Word Engine. It's fast, efficient, and works entirely offline, making it a great choice for devices like the Raspberry Pi. First, head over to Pico Voice Console. Once inside, navigate to the Porcupine section. Here, you can either choose a default wake word, like Hey Google, or create your own custom wake word. To create a custom wake word, click Create Wake Word, enter your desired phrase. In our case, it's Hey Pomo, and let Pico Voice generate a model for it. Once it's ready, you'll be able to download a PPN model file. 
which contains the trained wake word detection model. Click download and save the file in an easily accessible location on your device. We'll need it when setting up the wake word detector. Now let's get our Pico Voice access key. Navigate to the API access key section, copy the key, and store it in a secure location. This key will be used in our code to authenticate with the Porcupine engine. And just like that, our Pomodoro bot is now intelligent, interactive, and fully voice enabled. To keep the assembly neat and clutter free, we designed a custom two-layer PCB using EasyEDA. The PCB is designed in a way that the sensors, speakers, and audio jack can be attached to the PCB using the JST connectors. The PAM8403 and ADS1115 will be directly attached to the PCB. After finalizing the design, we sent the files for fabrication and received our custom PCBs about a week later. Along with the PCB, we also redesigned the bot's case, adding cute little ears and a dedicated space for the USB mic and other components. The new design makes the bot look even more adorable, while keeping everything compact. For the 3D printing, we used white filament for the main body and purple filament for the front ring and attachable ears, creating a visually striking two-tone appearance. Now it's time to put everything together. We began the assembly process with the front section by attaching the speakers to the speaker grill. After securing the speakers in place, we proceeded to solder the various electronic components onto the PCB. For the ADS-1115 ADC, we specifically use female headers to create a socket-like connection, which allows us to easily remove and replace this component if troubleshooting or upgrades become necessary in the future. In contrast, we opted for direct soldering when attaching the PAM8403 amplifier module to the PCB, creating a permanent connection for this component. Once all soldering was completed, we had a fully assembled PCB ready for integration with the other components. The next step involved carefully stacking this completed PCB on top of the Raspberry Pi, making sure to also connect the 3.5 mm audio jack during this process. After confirming proper alignment and connection, we inserted this entire assembled unit into the front portion of the robot's housing. At this point, we also made the necessary connections between the PCB and both the speakers and audio jack to establish the audio pathways. With these connections in place, the assembly of the front portion was successfully completed for the back portion, we first soldered JST connectors to both sensors, creating standardized connection points that would interface with our custom PCB. We then mounted both these sensors and the USB module to the appropriate locations on the back side of the housing. Once all the back components were secured in place, we established the remaining electrical connections between the back and front portions, which effectively completed the internal assembly of our Pomodoro robot. As the final step in the assembly process, we carefully applied adhesive to attach the decorative front ring and the ear portions to the main body of the Pomodoro robot. With this last aesthetic touch in place, the entire assembly process was successfully completed. Now let's see our Pomodoro bot in action. First, let's try asking it some simple questions. Hey Palmo, what is 2 plus 2? The sum of 2 plus 2 is 4. And there we go. It's responding correctly thanks to the integrated LLM. Now let's put it to the real test starting a Pomodoro session. Hey Pomo, start timer. And just like that, our 25-minute focus session is on. No buttons, no screens, just voice commands. That wraps up Pomodoro Bot V2 with voice activation, AI-powered responses, and a sleek new design. This version is better than ever. If you enjoyed this project, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more awesome builds. See you in the next one.